Thank you very much, for, uh, Chairman, for the interaction. And also, I'd like to thank the organizers to give me a very nice chance. I'm, I'm very glad that, that I'm going to retire in the next month. So that, that this must be the, the very last chance <coughs> occasion for me uh, to make a presentation in, uh, uh, <coughs> in the International uh, Symposium. So this, uh, the, my name is Hiroshi Sakamoto. I'm, <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, this is my uh, short bio. Uh, the, just uh, the chairman uh, introduced me. Uh, that uh, I've been working for the uh, high energy physics uh, since uh, 1985. I'm building several uh, collider experiments uh, from KK, uh, Tristan, Venus, and uh, Cake B, and also LC Atlas. And uh, today I'd like to about, uh, talk about this uh, experience where you see, since, uh, because I've been involved with this experiment uh, the, as a computing coordinator for the Atlas Japan uh, since uh, the, uh, I moved to Tokyo in 2001. So today, today uh, my con contest my talk is uh, like this. First, I, uh, uh, I'd like to show some uh, brief introduction to the energy frontier particle physics. And then move to, to explain how the data is handled using the uh, grid infra infrastructure. Probably found that the people here, the grid is a rather old word or uh, obsolete word, I'm afraid, that they are still the grid is working. And then uh, they are, they are, they are still we have a challenge in, uh, ahead of us, so that uh, finally I want to explain about the, our future problem. So in this slide, there are several icon marks we presented. In the each uh, represents, for example, Sun, uh, LHC, uh, the Atlas experiment, and WHC is the worldwide LHC computing GUI, and also the University of Tokyo. So the first, the energy frontier particle physics. What is the, uh, so that it's a uh, 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 particle physics, elementary particle is uh, physics for the uh, elementary particles. Uh, yeah. But the, uh, in order to uh, see how the particle behaves, we need a big accelerator. So that the Large Hadron Collider is one of them, and the largest one now. So that, first, so that first I will start from the Large Hadron Collider. Large Hadron Collider is a proton-proton collider. Uh, built at Sun uh, near Geneva City, uh, the, uh, where the uh, protons of uh, 10 to 11th, the very big number of protons are, are packed in a very small uh, bunch. Uh, they circulate in the uh, collider accelerator and they are accelerated up to, to 7 TB. What's a 7 TB? I will explain later. And they, uh, it's also the, another point that might be uh, in very big. In order to achieve this big science, we need a very big international collaboration. So this, this is also the, the, the important point why I want to uh, stress. Uh, this is an aerial view of the uh, sun. Uh, that the, you can see uh, the, uh, the uh, nice mountains on, on the background. These are the European Alps. And uh, the highest of them must be the, this one is uh, Mont Blanc. And also the uh, uh, Lake Raymond and then a bit Geneva is here. So you can see uh, the uh, runway of the Geneva airport. This is uh, three kilometers long. And the red circle indicates the location where the LHC uh, accelerator is built, uh, 100 meter uh, underground. So the how big the, uh, is, you can see. That uh, there is a conceptual drawing of the uh, accelerator. They are rather complex one, but the finally, the proton beams are circulating uh, this way and the other way. And I collide several points on the, uh, uh, in the ring where the experimental setup is placed. So this is a snapshot from the accelerator that you see. Uh, this is a bending dipole magnet to bend the proton. But the proton has so high energy that a very big magnet is necessary. The field of strength is a nine tesla. But we need 1,200 dipole magnets to bend to circulate the proton. You see, you can see that the, uh, the tunnel is uh, bent a bit slowly toward the right. And also this uh, shows that you see that the uh, Japanese uh, national flag, that the, the, uh, Japan is also uh, contributing in the very big money uh, to the, uh, the accelerator. So 
What do we need in a large collider? It's a rather simple, but the, uh, for example, you want to see at the very small part of the uh, uh, material, we need a microscope. But uh, the uh, resolution of the microscope is uh, limited because of the wavelength that uh, there are for, the, for example, optical microscope can see only up down to something like uh, 500 nanometers or something, because this is the, the wavelength of the light. So that uh, in order to see more smaller uh, item, we need a much, much shorter wavelengths. These are quantum mechanics. That the, uh, we, for example, electron uh, microscope have the, uh, uh, uses the electron as a uh, serving uh, wave in this sense, so that the, at the accelerator energy of one kilo electron volt, it means one kilo volt of the electric field, the wavelengths correspond to 10 to minus 11. This is adequate to see atoms or uh, molecules. But if we want to see more, for example, in the nuclei, nuclei, the center uh, exists in the center of the uh, atom, there are the, uh, the size is uh, order of, of like this, so that we need a much, much higher energy uh, to study. So that uh, this is the photograph of a superconducting ring cyclotron uh, built in Deacon Wako campus in the Nishina Center. They have about, uh, yes, this side is uh, very adequate to study nucleus. So how about the particle physics? Particle, uh, the size of particle physics, no one knows. But at least, less than 10 to minus 18. So that uh, this corresponds to the energy of the TEB, tera electron volt. So that uh, the one thousand times three order bigger than this uh, accelerator. So that, that's why. But uh, Eventually, that we made a very high energy density at the collision point. This means that, in a inner sense, uh, we are studying the, the beginning of the universe. <laughs> but, uh, so that the, here you see that uh, there is a notation. Accelerator means that the higher energy, means the higher uh, energy density produced at the collision point. It's a, for that, the, our case, is just equivalent to 10 to minus 13 picoseconds. Uh, no, sorry, min minus 13, so that's 0.1 picosecond equivalent just after the uh, Big Bang. What's happening? It's a very interesting uh, subject of the, our experiment to study the, uh, the origin of the universe. So the experiment is uh, constructed in, uh, on this LHC. Uh, there are <coughs> uh, two, major, uh, two general purposes. Uh, I'm explaining next to uh, the what's a general passport. But uh, anyway, a big detector, two big detector, detectors we have. And also uh, the LSCB and the RSC, the, uh, in a sense, application specific detectors for the uh, big folk physics and also the high, high, uh, heavy ion uh, physics. The purpose of this is the one is, the, of course, uh, the Higgs, discovery of, of Higgs particle, but already we have. Uh, discovered the uh, Higgs particle. The next step is uh, to, to, to study precisely the, the property of the Higgs. And also that uh, our model of uh, particle physics, we call it, it as a standard model, but a standard model is always uh, not yet uh, complete. So we need some more information beyond the standard model. So that uh, we expect some, uh, some very something new will happen at the experiment. Okay, the next, uh, <coughs> so the, uh, I will show you some, uh, 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 okay, let me uh, show you the Atrax experiment. This is, uh, just I say that the general purpose detector means that uh, uh, detects all emitted particles and also cover, so in order to that, cover all the solid drug, the four pi, so uh, the, uh, the very small big pipes are only in the place where the uh, particle can expect without the detection. So that the, uh, uh, this is uh, why we call this an, uh, uh, the general purpose. And the main components are here. Uh, I showed the, the four components. Uh, the superconducting magnets, which produce a very strong magnetic field to analyze the particle momentum. So by strong, uh, so that the particle uh, the, by measuring the curvature of the particle flying in the field, the we can uh, estimate the uh, momentum of the particles, and also the calorimeter, where the particle will stop. Then the, the 
total whole energy must be deposited inside the device so that we can measure the, uh, the energy of the device. Particle, uh, momentum of the device, uh, energy can determine what kind of particle which it was. So that uh, similarly, but uh, it, uh, muons are strong, uh, they're not so strongly interacting so that uh, they even in a two, two meters thick uh, ion uh, or metal uh, devices that uh, the muon can penetrate. So that uh, we need a very, very big uh, muon spectrometer. Uh, this is uh, our system, uh, our detector. It is uh, high big was uh, you can imagine. Im is, uh, you can imagine that uh, the size of the people like this. But the 42 meters in long uh, in uh, length, 25 meters high, and 25 meters uh, wide. So uh, this is the uh, uh, central part of the, uh, the solenoid magnet. Uh, no, no, solenoid. The, the toroid magnet is the, uh, the uh, very big. Very, very big, uh, the world's largest toroid magnet so far. And also, the, from inside to outside, there are so many kinds of detectors. Uh, for example, the, the innermost part, there are uh, just like uh, you see that there is a pitch of the detector sensors. Is there uh, around 50, for example, 50 micrometers. So that they, are, they are have the resolution of over 10 micron. Out, out of that, the next uh, stuff is just, I said that the calorimeter is, uh, looks like this. The, the outside of the calorimeter, there is a muon spectrum. How big it, you can imagine that, uh, so that people are sit, uh, uh, you know, standing there celebrating the completion of this. Uh, okay, so that the <coughs> uh, number of channels we have. The, this is the, some of the giant, gigantic uh, uh, Accumulation of the sensors. Uh, that, uh, the total number is uh, close to 100 million channels. So that uh, the, how huge data will come, you can imagine. And uh, but it actually, uh, the, how much the data will be produced? It, uh, it depends on the several experimental conditions. That one is the luminosity. That uh, how frequent uh, luminosity. The word is a technical term, but the, it indicates how much collision happens in. Uh, uh, in the beam. So then, the, uh, essentially, the uh, beams, just I said that a bunch uh, uh, collide every 25 nanoseconds, the 40 megahertz. But we cannot record all the events at the rate of 40 megahertz. We need some mechanism to reduce that, that data size. It's a t we call it the trigger system. The trigger system uh, selects events to be recorded at the rate of 1 kilohertz. And also the data aggregation system records all the relevant data uh, um, sign, marked as the, to be recorded. So that the, this side uh, one megabyte. So that the uh, naively thinking that the one megabyte times one kilohertz times uh, 10 megaseconds, uh, the one, one, full one year is uh, three times uh, seven, uh, 10 million seconds. So that the efficiency of 10 it's, uh, makes this. So the, uh, <coughs> this is the, uh, uh, the event uh, reconstructed from the binary data uh, sensor produced. For example, here, the very inside, uh, in the most part, uh, yes, uh, the close-up view must be here, there. So that there are so many uh, signals inside, uh, in the trackers. But outside, these are the from calorimeters, and uh, the mo outermost is the muon signals. That it looks like this. So the how complicated the data is, uh, you can understand. And uh, this is a very, very close-up view of uh, the central part of the detector. There are so many uh, tracks, but the, our measurement is only this uh, colored part. The white line is uh, all calculation uh, reconstructed from the, the, uh, the, the heat information given like this. So, and, uh, so this is the R5 view. Oh, now, the beam is coming from out uh, this way, but the, uh, this uh, uh, beam is uh, colliding in uh, this way. So that uh, the, uh, the beam has a length, very thin, um, but uh, they are, have a certain uh, length of uh, 15 centimeters or something. So that uh, there are many places in the beam bunch, at many places, proton are uh, colliding. At least here you see one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. So that uh, the complexity comes from also from this. So that, uh, just I said that uh, we are 
so that the, the, we want to reduce uh, the data acquisition rate at one kilohertz so that we need some uh, machinery, uh, so-called uh, trigger system. One, the first stage is a level one trigger. So it's a uh, electronic, uh, very complex electronic system. Uh, the, it reduces the data from 40 megahertz to 75 kilohertz. Then the uh, high level trigger, this is a software. It's a, actually a very big computer form of the Intel uh, processors. And uh, they uh, finally uh, they, uh, they, uh, they determine which should be recorded. It's, uh, okay, so that, uh, they, this is um, the famous plot of the Higgs particle discovery. Uh, in a two years, there, there are two messages you see here or here. This is a signal from Higgs. But uh, you can count how many signals are there. So that, uh, for example, this peak, the 10 or 20. These data are taken, uh, scanned by all these data of around 11 billion events. So then the, another important point must be, uh, you, uh, now we are comparing these experimental data with the Monte Carlo simulation. Simulation is very, uh, work, uh, plays very important role, whether our experiment is doing uh, correctly in the uh, measurement, for example. So that the, uh, if the, uh, uh, there are possible background uh, simulation, they get uh, it colored in red. But finally, the, the Higgs, we suppose the Higgs particle at the mass of this, at this luminosity, it will have this size of a peak. Now we can convince that we are, we detect the, uh, the Higgs particle. So that the simulation is also uh, the important. So that uh, <coughs> the uh, snapshot at the Ceylon seminar uh, reporting the Higgs discovery at the July 4th, uh, in the of the year 2012, and uh, 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 Nobel laureate uh, uh, Professor Higgs and Angler are invited uh, and uh, talking with the uh, director general of the time. Uh, this is already the uh, uh, spokesperson of the Atlas experiment, uh, Fabiola Gianotti. Now she is the uh, uh, director general of the sun, the first lady of the, uh, the uh, in the position of the director general. In the, in the, in the, in the seminar, uh, Ralph uh, showed that uh, this uh, slide that uh, the achievement of Higgs discovery come from the uh, extraordinary performance of accelerators, experiments, and grid computing. Before this time, computing used to be thought as an attachment for accelerators or uh, experiments. In this sense, uh, this is the truly the independence day for uh, computing, for the uh, inner field. So the, how big the data is that, that a bit of old uh, uh, diagram, but in uh, you know, just uh, uh, 2013, that our data is uh, just like uh, this size of a yearly output in the 15 petabytes compared to the Google's index, search index or Facebook contents or something. So that the, how big the, our data is can be easily seen. <coughs> 